All right, YouTube. This is what we got. That's what I started off with. Seats out of a 2010 Malibu. Same kind of car my uh, dash came out of. And this is what I ended up with right here. I still got a couple pieces to sew on, but it's uh pretty much finished. Got the black vinyl with the blue uh, 273 French seam. Not too bad for my first try on doing the automotive seat. It still got to be stretched on. After I get everything, uh, get the rest of the pieces sewed on, still got to be pulled tight on the phone, uh, hogged ring down the sides and across here, and uh, the part that needs to be um, sewed on, it uh, pulled tight and connect to the, the seat frame. So... All of those wrinkles should be knocked out by the time we get done pulling and stretching all on it. Turned out pretty darn good, I would say. But uh, there's only half of one. I still got to get the seat bottoms. I got to go get some more material for that. Uh, so I'll be working on the, the rest of the seat backs tonight. I got three more of these to do. I'm doing the four buckets. And... Uh, those should be done within a couple days. Come down here a couple hours at a time and knock a little bit out, a little bit out. I'm going to finish up all the backs, then I'm going to go ahead and get started on the bottoms. Got a couple little flaws on it. Nothing real big. Probably wouldn't even notice it. But, uh, look good. Look real good. Seems pretty much straight, which was shocking for it to be my first time. But I did uh, purchase some uh, some little guide feet for my sewing machine. Come with a little guide on them. I think I got a uh, one eight, uh, three eight and quarter inch uh, guide. So you know that make it. A lot easier, especially when doing the front seams. You know, you just let the guide pretty much run up the seam, and that'll keep the space in the the same. Got out of line a few times, just a little bit, but it ain't gonna hurt none. I say you probably won't even notice it. First couple seats gonna go in the back, cause I know I'm gonna make some mistakes on those. The last two should be pretty good, so those will be the ones going up front. But yeah, that's where we at. Uh, headrest delete. No, I didn't want the headrest on there. Took those babies out. I'm gonna, uh, gotta go and fill the little holes with foam, you know. Cut some foam out, glue it in the hole. Sand it down smooth. Cause I don't want no. Once I put the seat on there, I got a quarter inch foam. No, this half inch foam that I'm using on the seats. So it shouldn't sink down in there, but I'm going I'm to feel that just to make sure. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Y'all stay tuned, man. Got a lot more videos coming up. Start back working on the car. Got a lot of new parts in. A lot of stuff I got to assemble, put together, and all that stuff, man. So, y'all stay tuned.